Hi, I'm Thomas Lucas, and I work for Rogers O'Brien Construction, and I'm your superintendent for the new TA Brown Elementary School. Today, we're gonna to talk about drilled piers, but before we talk about what drilled piers are, I wanna show you the piece of equipment that drills those piers. This is the drill rig. It's essentially a great big engine that makes holes in the ground. Piers are the part of the foundation that you'll never see. This is a 3D structural model of your elementary school. The red lines are the drilled piers. A drilled pier is a hole or shaft that is drilled into the ground and filled with concrete. The concrete supports the rest of the foundation, which supports the rest of the building. Because they are drilled into the ground, you'll never see them, but they are a very important part of the building. This is how the shaft begins. The drill rig starts drilling into the ground using an auger bit, which is a lot like a drill bit that you would use to drill a hole in a piece of wood at home. They drill a little bit, spin the dirt and rocks free from the bit, and resume drilling. They continue this process until the engineer says the shaft is deep enough. Once the shaft is at depth, the concrete crew installs a rebar cage. Rebar reinforces the concrete, making it stronger. Because of how tall it is, they use the reach fork to set the cage. While the shaft is being drilled, and any time that there is a safety hazard where someone could fall into the shaft, the metal protective ring is used to protect those working around the hole. Once the cage is set, the sling is removed and a thick piece of plywood is used to temporarily cover the hole until the concrete truck arrives. Once the concrete truck arrives, we start placing the concrete. The method we are using here is the freefall method. When the concrete gets to the proper height in the shaft, then we use a concrete vibrator to get out any air bubbles that may be trapped in the concrete and to help evenly distribute the concrete in the shaft. After that is complete, we cover the hole again for safety and wait for the concrete to dry and cure. The next step is to dig the grade beams that sit on top of the drilled piers, but we'll talk more about that later on. All right, well that's it for today. It's time to get back to work. We'll see you next time, and remember, safety starts with me.